playthrough is sponsored by Game Toppers. Game Toppers are perfect if you want to deluxify the most important things in your life, like board games. Obviously, we were all thinking about board games. If you throw a fist towards the camera, people are going to be like, oh, it's a fist bump. They're Listen, be like... okay, so you can fist bump with the people in chat. You can. I'm telling you. We just argued like about this. this for at least, like, I don't know, That's three fine. minutes. Three minutes. Like this, right? No, 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 here. That's weird. No, because you're going to go, See, I just, I just fist bumped everybody. I just fist bumped everybody. Chat, you got to back me up here, okay? Don't be weird. Welcome to Board Game Battle. I'm Glory Hound, and this is... Dr. Glory Hog, your younger host. Host? Host. <laughs> younger host. I'm so young, I haven't even learned how to do English yet. <laughs> let? Yeah. English I let? Do English let. That's how young I am and vibrant. And hello to everybody in chat. We have Jim in chat and Steven in Battle Cry, and we have Fatal in chat. Thank you so much for showing up today. And Michael, I, did I say Michael? I don't know. I don't know. Happy, bir happy birthday to... Was it? No, wait. Whose wife what? was it? Who? It was Steven's what? wife. Was it? Yeah, she turns 40 in a week. Is it? That's Are you sure? That's fantastic. I'm glad she's leveling up. That's what it is. It's all about the level up. I feel like the older I get, though, the more I realize I misspent my ability points when I was younger. And then, like, you put them in the wrong columns, and you're like, mm -hmm. ooh, I can't yep. change that mid-game. I mean... All that ancient, <laughs> all that ancient Magic the Gathering history and lore that I learned yeah. is not really helping me out it as doesn't, an adult It's so not long-term, long-term goal yeah. oriented, mm, if only for side quests. This is awkward. <laughs> you're a side quest. Wow, no, I'm a lifetime achievement, okay? <laughs> you have a 100% achievement? That's right. <laughs> That platinum trophy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Baymax. La, 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 la. See, I'm telling you, you can fist bump chat. It's fine. It's fine. Please stop trying to throw your fists at our crew and our crowd. I don't. What? What day is this? This is like, we should almost like just restart. <laughs> can we do that? Is that an option to just restart? All right, let's just restart. <clears throat> All right. Hi, I'm Dr. Glory Hog, um, and this is my co-host. Wow, Please no. Please say your name to the camera. No, that's not how that works. All right, Dr. Glory Hog, tell us about Mariposa today. Mariposa is about butterflies. <laughs> they could be meat-eating. They could not be. I don't know. Some butterflies eat meat. I don't judge. That's a true story. The interesting thing about Mariposa, basically what we are doing is we are traveling across like from Mexico through the U.S. and then back. But the interesting thing is that no one generation ever makes it. So... We're going to be having baby butterflies, and they're going to have baby butterflies, and getting back. I guess there are no grandparent butterflies, are there? That's kind of sad now that I think about it. What that. do you mean? So, like, oh, you mean just... they as... die before they get to see their kids have kids. Well, I don't know if, like... There's a mom... So you could be like, mama <laughs> butterfly, do do no. do do but you can never do a grandma butterfly. Oh, lifetime achievement. Oh. <laughs> I missed it. It was so good. Why do I always miss the mark with these things? That would have been perfect. It would have Dang been. Dang it, Jim. It would have been. <laughs> so many times you've missed the mark. It's disappointing. <gasps> oh my gosh. But the interesting thing in this game is that... Babies need naps, Michael. Okay? <laughs> as you're going across here, after round one, all of your round one butterflies die. That was what I was trying to get to. Oh, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying there's no grandparent butterfly. Yeah, it's very sad. It's very sad. So your generation butterflies die, then next round your generation two die, then your generation three, and then hopefully you make your fours all the way to the end. If not, sucks to be you. And if not, you don't get those end game points, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. This it game... has one thing that drives you a little nuts, but you're eager to see how it's played to know for certain. Ooh, well, okay, okay. okay. Can... Can I ask what it is ahead of time? So, like, we can definitely go over it over and over again to help out. <laughs> the pun master, that's right. So, for our first goal here for springtime, we're going to be going through three different rounds here for spring. Basically, you can get four points here if your butterflies, you have two butterflies that are going to be above Atlanta. So, where's Atlanta here? Here's Atlanta. Here's the row here for Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta. That's not the and you will get an additional four points if you have a butterfly on each of the yellow, orange, and green areas. So these areas right here. Dr. Glory Hob, did you want to go first? That is a hard, that's a big This ask. one's really, really hard to do. Yeah, like this portion of it, like I feel like this one's definitely achievable. You're achievable. Well, I was achievable. That's, that's why I'm here. Wow. 
that. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Oh, please, God. Please scooch. Oh, God. All right, so I'm going to drop this bad boy here. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then I get to pick up something. So I'm going to go yep. one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Flip it. Boom. Reverse it. you got to look at these butterflies too here. Let me hold up some of these So that got me this fancy card over oh, here. Hold on. Oh, Sorry. I'm showing a butterfly Aww. right now. Oh, gosh. Turn around, butterfly. There you go. That's just like a real butterfly. So I got one of these cards here, which if I get the full set, I can get some victory points at the end. This one's going to give me way stations if you get That's all the blue. That's off camera, so you'll have to go oh. ahead and show them. And then there's some green up there, too. Anyways, since I discovered this, I get to that item. But now she knows it's there, too. And I get a roll to get a random flower, which I get a wild flower. And what would you like? Anything. I don't care. I have nothing right now, so it doesn't matter. Just give me I anything. I will give you this one. Oh, God. I don't know. Nope, not these, that one. Oh, I want that God. middle one. Why didn't you say can so? Can I get a sunflower, first? actually? Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. And then I get my new speed card. And then Ooh. this is kept next to you here to remind you on how many turns that we've had. In spring, we have four turns. Summer, we have five. And then fall, we have six turns here. This actually goes pretty dang fast. Whoa, please you know? your language. I didn't even look at my cards. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, also scatterbrained today. I think I'm also going to use something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one as well, where I can go five spaces. I think I will go one, two, three, four. I think I'll do the same thing, actually. Come here. Wow. Come here. Give me that card. <laughs> Give me this card. This counts as one point at the end wow. of the game. Wow. Serious business here, okay? Yeah, you should I'm try roll picking this up dice. your own strategy. And you know what? You know what? I'm same also going to get this sunflower, all right? Boom. Take that, Dr. Glory Hog. You should maybe get your own strategy. That'd be cool. Did you take another? Okay. I did. So, chat, how are you all doing today? Let's hear. You know how some people read ahead in the CYOA book and then pick the most ideal path? Yeah, if you could just go back and do that with my life, it'd be great. K things for real. That's what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I've, if I knew, that was one of those things. If I knew what I know now then. <laughs> Oh, wildflower. Uh, can I get a sunflower, please? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I already went up there. Why are you so far ahead already? Because I went five again. Oh, gosh. I'm just flying ahead. Where am I? Am I at Atlanta? I am at Atlanta. Oh, I only just need to get north apparently, of one more butterfly. Apparently, you made it to Houston, the armpit of Texas. Wow. <laughs> it's so much burn, Nathan. Ouch. The armpit of Texas? Jeez. Like, I guess I haven't been to Houston too often. I usually fly into Dallas. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse an action card I have played, which I'm going to use the five one. One, two. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. Are you serious? <laughs> get off of me. And I'm also going to take those things. God, Give me that thing. you're so gross. And I'm going to go ahead and strategy. roll that. And I'm going to take one of these is red flowers. Is this because I beat you so bad last night you're trying to copy me now? <laughs> <laughs> no. Because if now, I recall, you got beat bad. Like, it was really bad. I with, thought you were going to cry. With this... Wow. Why are you... Wow. Dr. Glory. <laughs> what the heck was, is wrong with you? It was you? bad. You look like you were going to for Do real you need cry. me to cut off your mic up in here? <laughs> you look like it was cry town. So, this one here is a movement card that I get to keep in my hand. Now, usually you can only keep two movement cards in your hand at a time. However, with these special cards here, which you can only use once per game... You can keep this in your hand at the time with your two regular movement cards. So they just give you the ability to have an an another movement while some of these other ones give you additional movements as you go along. Oh my gosh, this round is like almost over. Yeah, I don't play around. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm gonna get, uh, don't even give it to me though because I'm going to immediately spawn up my generation two. Right there. These. So you turned in two tokens here for your generation two? Yes. And then... For the one butterfly movement, and then yep. your next one? My next butterfly movement's going to be... That was one, two. Now, there's only certain areas that you can actually spawn up butterflies, and they're in these little mil milkweed areas here. So you have to be in those areas in order to expend your resources to spawn up another butterfly. So is that... The thing in a game that drives you a little nuts, Nathan, the armpit of Houston. So I went from here, I went one, two, three. I'm going to get another one of those. I'm going to turn this in and make my, my other butterfly. Boom. So I'm just dropping butterflies Holy like cow. a top. We're butterflying up in here. I'm going for that goal. I'm going for it. We just have to have them above Atlanta. Oh, and you want to have the three. Oh, you're set up really good to do it. I'm going for the three. 
Yeah, your setup really good. It's gonna be what green, that. orange, yellow. Yeah. So I'm already in yellow. I'm already in green. I just need to get into orange. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you over here? You're in a sunflower area. If you follow me again, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it, everybody. I think I'm gonna use this. So I am definitely going to be going. One, two, right here. <laughs> Where there's a sunflower, so I'll turn in that sunflower and this sunflower also to spawn up my number two butterfly right up in here. Who does number two work for? And then That's right, I buddy. still have three spaces to go. Do it. Don't do what I did because it doesn't help you the same way. What do you, you have to have one in yellow, green, and orange? Jeez. Yeah. Cheese and crackers. Cheese. Cheese. Fly, fly, you beautiful fool. I mean, I don't have the same sort of. I wish butterflies made do. the same sounds that like pigeons do when they fly. So it's just like, <laughs> as they fly off, you know. <laughs> like that. Did I tell you guys the time that I was in my walk into my parking garage at my old work and I was like going to my car and it's a big cement parking garage just open. I'm like walking to my car and I was just, like, <laughs> and like some pigeon came flying out at me like this and it was like surprised I was there, so it turned like mid-flight. It flew off, but it scared the living poop out of me. We're going to go one, Because it just came two, at me, three. and it was like screaming it. Full, full bloody murder. All right, I need this little token there. Which one is it? That pink, pink, uh... I call it the pink almond. It does look like an almond, but right? It not. does look like an almond. It's definitely not an almond. Don't and I will one. choose one of these tokens. Now, like if you're so... on this, this does not count as an orange spot, does it? Why do you got to ask hard questions when we're streaming? Where were these questions when we played this last? I was never this good. I, I don't think no, it does. No, I don't think it does. I think you have to be let's, on the actual one. Let's just one. decide that that's... Oh, yeah, which I didn't actually even say. As a reminder, Fly. this is not a how to play. This is a should you play. This should give you a good idea if this is this game is something that you want to play with your friends and family. Uh, the only thing that I'm really... So we're just going to pick something. ...feeling is being neglected in this game is the fact... Uh, that there's not bones littering the battlefield here as the butterflies, the butterflies go and eat everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's true. Some butterflies do eat meat. And a lot of butterflies try to like chew on bone because it's a good way to get calcium in the wild. A lot of animals do. Deer, everything. All right. So I'm going to move three. But what, what is it? Baby chicks are the popcorn of the animal kingdom or something like that? All right. So check this out. I'm going to go. I'm already in yellow. So I'm going to go. I don't have any flowers right now. What do I have around me? There's white flowers there. I could go down here for a white flower. Am I, this is still north of Atlanta, though, right? This row? Yes, that's still north of Atlanta. So the cutoff is right here. And we'll go over the other other cutoffs Whoa, the of them. Well, no, we don't go over the udders. <laughs> you landed in Richmond one hour south of me. <laughs> so can I get oh, that's awesome. Two of the white flowers, and then I'm going to get... Two of these ones? A pink flower. Why are you like this? There, take those. Boom. Okay. And a pink flower, please. No. Which pink one? That one. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. There's the wrong flower in here. Who does? Who did that? Who you probably did, did it. That? Are you happy that I got it done? Look at that. Are you, like, I'm so very, proud? I'm so... Proud of me. Stinking proud of you. So proud. So, I'm going to go here for one. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I wanted to do the same thing. When I, I think, think since there's three of us, that we could gang up on your two butterflies and eat them. That is the goal, right? Why are you like this? <laughs> These are basically just murder bats. Kind of. The All real right. the real murder hornets are the butterflies. Instead, I'm actually I'm gonna go one here. So I'm gonna collect a sunflower. Sunflower. I'm going to go one here. Flip it. For a blue caterpillar, I'm gonna get the roll of those dice. Thank you. That's a lot. You got a lot and of. And then I get to go one more space too. Might as well go trigger the other one. And then yeah, and then I'm gonna go here into Boston. Good, because that lets me know what's over there. And also, I will take that little blue bean. The blue bean, this one? No, the green bean that's on the blue. Thank you. You mean the cocoon? We're just going to basically like make them into whatever. Oh, okay. That's why chicken nuggets taste so good. See? It's <laughs> a cocoon. It's a cocoon. All right. That was four cards. That was it. Boom. End of round. Dun, dun, dun. You ready we need those lights that go down like. Do you have two butterflies above? You do? I do. And then I have the other one. So you're going to get four and I'm going to get eight? That's right. 
So drop you off back oh, here. Oh, we totally forgot to turn this over. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this. So right. that should have flipped over as soon as we both as soon as we our both spawn butterfly. our butterflies, which I think was only one turn. This was supposed to go over, and we were supposed to be able to see the next uh, goals for the next round. So we went ahead and did that. Now we got to go ahead and take. So we have to have all three of them south. Or we have to have all three above Richmond and none south, right? Three above Richmond, none south. And then this one here, you get two if you're to the left of Lawrence, which is here. Which Ooh. this one is crazy. You have to be in a really weird spot because the way that they broke it up here, this line here. So like these two. It's all part of Lawrence. It's all part of Lawrence area. You so you actually have to be like in these pieces way, way, way over here. Yeah. In order to do that. So that one's a really hard one to do. And then the East Coast is going to give you points for having butterflies on the East Coast here. But before we just get rid of everything, so our number one butterflies are actually going to come off the map now. If you had a two butterfly, your second generation, you could put one out. You could spawn one out for free on there, but you do not. So that just goes um, away. It's only because I was too awesome. But I do. So as my number one goes out, I get to put them out there for free. Yeah, I bet you think you're fancy. Well, then that's you, how I do it. That's I think, how I do it. Do you go first because you're last? <laughs> and then, yes, because I'm last, I get to go first in this round. So, let's see here. We need to be above uh, So, the game Richmond. uses north, south, left, and right. That's what irritates you, is the north, south, left, and right? I'm sure there's a reason. Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo. I literally just read it. Interesting. Like, as far as, like, the hexes on it, and then allocating where everything is at, or just in general, north, south, left, left and right... Oh, I do? guess that is weird because it's north and south. So they're expecting people oh. not to know east and west and what which one is which. But they do use it somewhere because over here it says east. I think we're using the le like left and right and north and south. Because like this doesn't say north or south. It just has arrows pointing down that you've got to be above Atlanta. So like... You could use... We could say that a bazillion different ways. That is weird though if, if that's the way it's referenced in it. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All right. Let me look at my cards. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What do I want to do here? One, two. Ooh, okay. So if I go over there, and so now generation three butterflies are going to cost me three. Mm -hmm. And we want to be above Richmond, which is here. And like my number two butterfly is like almost there. We're going to use this card, I think. One, two, three, four. We're going to go one, two. Three, four, and I think we're gonna go like way the heck up here. We get five in the Quebec turns this City. Time. I want a green caterpillar, please. And then this card also allows me to get the resources next to me, so I'm gonna take two of those. Pretty good. And I get to roll still. Whoa. Look at another one. All right. I'm gonna go like oh, this. Oh, you know what? Apologies. Oh my god. Forgot to clear our cards. I already got rid of mine. Because I'm not a nerd. Sorry. It's okay. There you go. Are you now ready, princess? You know what? <laughs> I was talking to chat, okay? Were you? <laughs> Were you? Were you? Really? I was. I was talking to chat. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going to get poop poop. Let's see. Do I get to roll twice then? Wait, why do you get both of those? Because of this. I flew in this No, you way. get the resources here. You can't get the, the other thing. You can't get the token card. You I have use, to land on that. what's next to it. Because you roll a dice for a, a resource. You I can't get, get that, a resource. But it's right next to it. No, that's, that's not how, how that, that works. How do you know? That's not how that works. Are you sure? <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> you can't get a resource card. What do you think you're doing, Dr. Glory Hog? That's not how that I works. I think you know exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, you're trying to be all cheaty up in here. You all saw that, right? You all saw that. Right? I literally stopped and asked you, why are you like this? Can you get me? I'm going to get my own resources. You're such a butt sometimes. You guys all heard it here first. She's a butt. I asked the question and she's like, why are you cheating? I'm like, I asked the question. Why are you cheating in a way where you ask? How dare you? All right, it's your go. All right. If you think you can handle it without throwing out accusations across somebody. <laughs> I think we're gonna do this one. Let's go and do. Let's do one and get a sunflower. 
and we're gonna go two and we're gonna get a sunflower and then I'm gonna spawn something up and then we're gonna do move our third one so let's uh let's use these sunflowers here one two three and let's put down my number three butterfly right here okay and then we're gonna move my number two up here to Chicago but butterfly And that gives me the plus two movement card on there. Thank you. Oh, you're going for all the East Coast stuffs? East Coast. No? It's my turn? It is your turn. I don't know what I'm doing now. Somebody messed up what I was doing. <laughs> so I get that. Oh, just one of them. Let's see. I either read it in the rule book, the direction thing, or perhaps I made it up in my imagination. So... Aw, oh, but Earthfly, wow, battle cry. <laughs> the left right portion of it, it just might be referencing well that yeah, that really wouldn't make sense for it to be that way because if you're sitting on the other side of the table, your left and right is just gonna be different. That would make no sense. No sense, I say. What are you, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? I remembered. So for the next round that's gonna be coming up, we wanna have, are any butterflies that are, any fourth generation butterflies that respond to the right side of Houston will spawn as the double butterfly instead. So if you do get them down here, they're worth more points, which last time I played with something similar. I had a double butterfly, but I left it up here. I never ended up getting it there, so it ended up not really being worthwhile. Right. Um, I still have one more move to make, sorry. Um, I want to go. So that's my two. We just want to have three butterflies above Richmond. Yeah, three butterflies above Richmond, which is right here. And there's the cutoff for it. I'm close to that, but I am not actually there right now. Another one of these, please. The shape of this the game is so, like, the board is so odd. Actually, sorry, I'm going to move here. Get the same thing, but then I'm going to spawn another butterfly. Okay. That's going to be number three. Let's see here. By the way, I'm going to try to make it to your crowdfunding live stream tomorrow because I have super hot opinions on Hero Quest. Oh, I Good. hope you show up then, Nathan. Yeah, absolutely. Hero Quest, Quest has been a hot button with everybody. And then as I was looking at it, I was like, this isn't the game I was thinking of. And I was actually thinking of Hero Skate. I'm super sad it wasn't Hero Escape. Because Hero Escape has like the big like built-in land board thing and everything. They're two different games. All right, why are you looking at me like that? I thought the same Were thing. Were you thinking the same thing too? Yeah. <laughs> it was Hero Escape? I thought no. it was the one with the little tiles that you clicked no, in no, the no, Magic the Gathering Quest. Heroes yeah. of the Plains kind of did. The yeah. Planeswalker one. The little so things. whenever I started looking into it, I was, I was super disappointed. Uh, I was like, right. what the heck is this? I was like, I don't I, want this. I thought they were like the, uh, yeah, I thought they were like the same game too for some reason. Yeah, no, no. It is your go. Yes, it was, it was my mistake. My mistake. No, it makes sense. Because like, as soon as you started saying that, I thought that too, actually. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought it was the Hero Escape one where you got to actually build little, they had little hex tiles that would actually lock in together and you mm -hmm. build different terrain and stuff. Yep. If it's not that one, then why do people have so many copies of Hero, Hero Quest then? Because the whole point, like I understand having a bunch of Hero Escape because you're getting more terrain. You can just build bigger and bigger things and make more elaborate maps and stuff. Oh, I'm going to look into that. I don't know. I need the plus one card, please. Do you get points for these cards, too? No. No? I need a sunflower. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and I get whatever's next to it. So I will collect another. One, two, three, four. Let me see here. I think I'll collect another one of those. Is it my go? It is your go. I'm going to go up five. Only two more turns one, two, on this. Three, four, five. Uh, I'm like, oh, do I need those things? <laughs> mm -hmm, you do. Can I get that flower, please? There you go. I don't know what these, I should have looked up what these flowers are called. I'm going to call that one a peony. 
because I know that's a flower. <laughs> and that's all I know. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. So, oh, because you're doing your fourth one right now. Yes. So I'm going to move three. And then one. So one, I'm going to move here for this. Get two of these. And then I'm going to move three, one, two, three, up here in Winnipeg. Get up there. Get that one. The green one. Yeah. And I just, I'm all spread out. I just have like a bunch of you ones that of are, I have two of everything. Yeah. That is not helpful at all. Yeah. I'm like waiting for you to like flip over one that I to want. To like decode something. Yeah. Because <laughs> I still don't not know what the, the monarch butterfly Not is. happening apparently. Is it my go? It is your go. All right, so I've got the three. So I'm going to move one, two. Let's see here. Choosing to crowdfund but not using Kickstarter is a wild business decision. That's really interesting as well. I thought that was, I understand why they did it, because they didn't want to give that money over to Kickstarter. They wanted to get all their own money. Like, that makes sense. But... I mean, would it be millions of dollars if they had used Kickstarter? I don't know. Well, they already they already hit a million the first day. I know, but I'm saying and like they don't lose that ten percent. So that's a quite it is a, a big it chunk. is quite a big chunk. But I'm saying like, or seven percent. Would it whatever have it is. been more if it was on Kickstarter? Like I'm wondering. Oh. I mean, there's no way to ever be able to tell. But would they have made more money on Kickstarter, and therefore like, would it have eventually equaled out? Like I don't know. I also do not know. It is your go. Okay. I do know that. So we're going to do this one here. We're going to go one, two, three on this one here. Pink. I need a pink uh, pod, please. And then wow. I need to be that way of Lawrence. So I can go one more with that butterfly. We're going to go here. Listen, number... The number two butterfly is doing some work up in there, okay? <laughs> it's getting this hardcore. My go? I believe so. I see your cards, please, because I have that one that says you reuse. You cannot. Oh, here they are. I don't know what you had. Do you have the one that's like three little individual moves? I think that's the one I want. Yeah, three little individual moves. That one's moves. a one and a three, though. That'll give me one, and then one, two, three. That'll get all my butterflies. I'll do that one and then a three. Okay. So one, two, three. Spawn up in there and grab some flower. And that was one, two, three, four, five. That was the end of end of that one. And I'm going to go here and get a random one. There was a failed Kickstarter a few months ago for the... Digital HeroScape type. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that the whole point of HeroScape was the little cool yeah, map absolutely. pieces. So I would absolutely. definitely not want to play it. But again, that would digitally. I could see why Hasbro would do that with HeroScape because they don't know if that's something that the community is going to want, and then like it's a lot of production and everything. And I could see them taking that to Kickstarter. But Are you ready for this? You're done, right? Yep. So three above Richmond. I have all mine above Richmond, so that's six points. And you got the same thing, correct? Yep. So you go to ten. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh to the left of Lauren. I have one. So that's two points for you. And do you have any on the other coast? I don't have no. any on the other coast. I have two, four, six, eight on that coast. Two, four, six, eight. Wow. Let's see here. I'd probably never back another video game Kickstarter. I feel you there. As far as Kickstarters Those go. Those are way riskier. We back, so, so risky. We always talk about how we don't really have a bunch of failed Kickstarters, but we did do one for a video game, and I don't think anything ever happened with it. Yeah, I don't think it's out yet or anything. So, and it's but, been like four I mean, years. We didn't really go ahead and spend a bunch of money on it. I think it was, it was like, like $10 less, or something yeah, was, like that. But It was like less than 30 for sure, but it's been like four years. Though, yeah. Too. Like, that was like one of the first things I backed because I got excited about it. So now we lose all of our twos, correct? Right. But then we get to decide which twos get replaced by a three if we have one, which I do. Why did I pick it up? Was it right here? <laughs> I think one was right there. Gosh, now I don't even know. 
this one right there that's close enough I don't remember now I shouldn't have picked it both of them up at the same time so now all my butterflies are way up here I need to get them all down and turn them into fours right right and then we're gonna have six rounds in this one here but for this one all of your threes if they are right of Houston so anywhere that's like this and over they'll spawn double butterflies as opposed to a single but butterfly. We have to get those level fours, the fourth generation down here this round too. Yeah, you just, you have to get it down here in order to get those big scores. The more butterflies you get down here, the better it's oh gonna be God. for you. I'm so high up. <laughs> I mean, we both are. We're both really high up. Do you think we're gonna be able to make that much It's probably distance? fine, it's probably fine. Yikes. I guess we're gonna see, I guess we're gonna see, okay? Let's see here. It's going to be, you get to go first. I liked what the King of Average said about Hero Quest on his channel. He did not hold back. Ooh, okay, interesting. I was actually scrolling down that today and I saw that come up as a suggested video. Mm. Let's see here. I will use this one here. Gosh, this is like almost over. I don't even know what I'm doing. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then... I'm gonna go, so I get the two, and then I'm also gonna go one. So I'm gonna get these two here. You got a lot of flowers. I'm gonna go then. here. I what get a wild flower, so a flower that I would like. I will get. Roll your die first, so you know what other random flowers. Oh, you're good call, get. good call. I'm gonna get one of those, and then I think I will take one of these here. So that was that was my move. And what kind of card was that? Was that a three and a one? A three and a one. Why? Are you trying to are you trying to take my cards over here, Dr. Glory Hog? No. I'm just asking. Um it seems sus sus suspicious. Suspicious. One, two, three, four, five. Did I take it from here? No, not from my stuff. Hmm. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I think everything is going What the heck? Just fine. What the heck? Boy. Man, I just really have like a big old random mess of cards here. I don't know what you're, you're supposed doing. to be able to get like four of these in order to get like a special thing and it is not happening for me. It is your go. All right. What do we want to do? I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Jim said I should have been up one more. Well, On we're just going to play how it lies, Jim. I'm not going to try to backtrack. Uh, maybe I was supposed to be up here or something with that last butterfly, but it's fine. It's oh. one space. I need to turn like, my butterfly over. My butterfly is like... There we go. Alright, I will play this one here. So, this does exactly like what I don't want it to do. Like nothing good. But it's I do appreciate that, that help, three. One, two, three. But just like game night at your house, we just roll with it. It'll be fine. Give me a pink caterpillar. Oh, I just got the pinks. So that means that that is she gets not going to do anything for me. This scoring, which is if she's got one of each type, she's going to get an extra bonus point. That is not going to do anything for me. It could. Oh, do you okay. have a bunch of reds? Are those all stacks of reds? Yes. Oh my gosh. And then, so that was three, and then I'm going to go one. And right I can there. still earn that too. I'm just not there yet. I'm going to take this one that fell out. All yep. right, there your turn. I'm going to do this. The problem one. is you're collecting these resources and stuff, and then also. As you're going along, it's like, well, I need to spend these resources, though, too. Oh, I didn't take a card. Oh, and I get a roll. Perfect. I actually need one of those. And then I can go here, get two of those. Which ones are these? Those are these red ones. I don't know why I'm reaching way over here. <laughs> and then I'm going to go up one here and get a red. And I'm going to actually, so it's got to be, it's got to be on the other side of Houston, right? On the other side of Houston, yeah. To get the bonus, which is one, two, three, four. That's the hardest part. It's like there's only so many spawning zones over there, and they're quite far. Yeah. That's... You really have to be booking it. Like, I don't know. That's a one-stroke penalty. I agree. We'll just take five points off of Dr. Glory Hog's total score, okay? Yikes. That seems <laughs> a little extreme. 
No, I, I think it seems fair. It seems fair. Well, like the weird thing is like you have, or not the weird thing. The hard thing is you've got to spawn up new ones with the level three, right? But then you also want to like book it and get oh, your shoot. fours down there. Like what cards am I missing? What am I missing? So I have that. Oh, do I have? Oh, I didn't get Toronto way over there. I need Toronto. What's the blue one stuff? Gain two way station cards of your choice. Oh. Yeah, it's real good. Hence why I'm like. Oh. My. You should oh my. probably get those. Um, I think I might. It's going to be one of these two. Because even if you can't complete a set with it, it's still two. Right. Extra points. Mm, I'm like counting all my stuff here. So. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we got those there. So we're going to do... One. And take one of these. Two. Give me that blue card, please. Which other blue card are you missing? Just one more. Just one more blue card that I'm missing. Oh, we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> All right, your turn. We're already halfway through, though. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, I think. One, two, three, four. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go four here. Which I already have that, but I do get to spill the random one. Which, oh my gosh, what happened? That should be right there. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to get this one. So let me get that one first and then decide. Oh, I probably need to put my card down, huh? Uh, what do I want to get here? I guess I will pick up a sunflower. So I at least could make another butterfly, potentially. It is your go. Gosh, I've got some nice move cards, but... All right, I'm going to repeat this, I guess. So it would be one. I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to spawn up a butterfly. Here. I'm going to go two. I'm going to get one of these. Like so. I'm going to spawn up a butterfly. Oh, man. One, two, three. And I'm going to go three up in El Paso. Come on, you. Blue butterfly. That was it. That was it. Blue butterfly. That completes blue for me, which I get two other cards. So give me the two. Blue? Yeah, so give me the other two green ones I need. I need a green. Show me your blues. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Show what the me heck? Your blues. Right here. <laughs> give me the other two green ones I'm missing. No. I need a little chrysalis and then, like, the butterfly. That's pretty good. Do you actually get to take an extra turn at the end of this? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking Please about. Calm down. Oh, sorry. So essentially, this is what oh, no. all got unlocked here. These were our special, these were our goals this round, and she got all three of them, which is really good. Which is also, I mean, that's four, eight, 12 points alone right there. I'm only got like five, so that will catch you up really quickly. We'll Wait. see how it all works out for me in Are the end, though. Are you done with your turn? I am done with my turn. Okay, I'm gonna use. Well, I only have two actions left. I'm gonna use the card that you used. Didn't you use that? Didn't you have like a one that was like one, one, one? Yeah. Yeah, one, one, one. So I'm gonna go here. I'm going to turn in three more and make a butterfly. And... You're supposed to be turning in four for a butter for number I'm four. I'm going to get one right here. You're supposed to be turning in four? I'm going to get one right here. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, what? I'm going to get one right here. Hold on. Hold on. Basically. <laughs> we need to check. We need to check. Replay, replay the video. Replay the video. I'm going to go here and get this green one, which is good. And roll the die. Can I get that red flower, please? There you go. And then I've got one more space to move, basically. So 
need to know like what all the things are. What am I missing? I think I'm missing one of those things. Here was another card. All right, it's your go. So we got two more turns left. Well, I get an extra turn, right? After all of it. Yes. Could you calm down? <laughs> So One, two, three, take four, a little breath. five. I'm going to do that one. I'll put these back. I think. Up. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Let's do one. Two, three, four, five. And then I get a sunflower. Oh, it's like so tense. I want to get all my butterflies down there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like I like go over counting One, my two, stuff over three, and over again. Four. And so I'll get. Um, some flowers. This is really going to depend on what my last card is. I know, Just right? It is your go. Not good. And we're going to move one here. So you got one of them out. Got one of them in. <laughs> then we're going to go one. So I'm going to pick, well, one. We're going to pick up one of these white flowers here. And then I want to make sure I have like all of the colors. Do I have all the colors? Am I missing one? I think that's all of them, right? There's five of them? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go here for two. So I'm going to get another one of these. Okay. And then I'm going to use this card right here. You can dodge a butterfly. Ah, you can dodge a wrench. Here. Or a dodgeball. Like so. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I get one more turn mm -hmm. after this. Excellent. You get one butterfly out. You got another butterfly right there, huh? Yep. Right, I'm going to play this one and go one, two. I'm also going to get this blue, which also Why you lets, like that? <laughs> which also lets me get two bonus cards. So I'm going to actually pick up these two. Are you for real? Which is also going to give me an extra turn. Thanks. Why does the doctor have to be like this, everyone? Thanks. Whatever, you copied like all my moves for like eight <laughs> years. It was ridiculous. And I can move two again. Now the question is, I guess I would go one, two, and get another sunflower. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Gosh, I wish I knew what my next card is going to be. There's no way I'm getting them both out. We're going to end up tying with that unless you can do some other crazy shenanigans. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not happy. Oh. Well, because I've got them both like close right but neither one of I, don't, I can't get them all both out yeah two, i think three, i'm in four, the five, same six. boat for, as far as that goes well, you only so have another one i can go low. like one here i can go one here i could technically spawn up one but that's a, a third generation butterfly right he can't come out no i can spawn up one and i can move again but then i'm only moving need like one other place here. one other place okay yeah i think we're just gonna end up tying let's see here how many, how many of these do I have? Hold on, I need to see. I have like one more movement. I gotta maximize everybody. <laughs> oh, I don't even think I can maximize my stuff. I need another one of these like little weird pink ones. One of these? Oh, heck, we're gonna spawn up another butterfly just because, just because. Then we're gonna go over here with my other butterfly. With your new butterfly? With my new butterfly, just so I can get another butterfly out and I feel better about it. Okay. There we go. So I've got, I do have a four move card. No. So I can move this one or I can move this one. I was hoping to get them both. Or I can yeah. go one, two, one, two, which I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I'll do it, I guess. 
One, two. I'll do this two one instead. At least that'll get me a resource. So I'll get one of these white ones, and then I'll go one, two. It is so insanely hard to get the butterflies back to the end here. Like Yeah, because they want you to go super I'm high. Like, holy crap. It's Why like, is this um, so hard to get these butterflies? Go back it's like home. playing clank, right? Like you want to go deep for the good go treasure. Back home. But you don't want to go too deep because then you can't get out of there fast enough. I don't think I made up enough points though, because you ended up collecting quite a few cards as well in this. So well, yeah, we're I gonna see. An extra three cards at last turn. We're gonna see what's up. Alright, so first we do Oh, this is just three for every flower. So Dang it, I shouldn't have gotten that other butterfly then. <laughs> no, so it's fine though. Count up what you got. So we'll do this first. Which one? This this part, which is okay, so uh, counting one up point for every three. Three. So I get five points. Also five points. You could have had six points. I know. You I know. Have six I could have had six points. All right, so that one's done. And then what else did we score? So we're going to score one for every card that we have. Oh, like this? Okay. So how many do you have? I have all of them. So four. Twelve. There you go. So you go 19, 29. So that jumps me. But then I've got eight and nine, I believe. So I got these four and I got these four. So yeah. I was nine. really hoping Doctor wouldn't get his other butterfly in there. Like, I was really, really hoping. So I got a 36. Okay, what else do we score? And then we score the butterflies here. And then we tied there, right? And then we tied got, there. Because you got two so fours and I got a double four. Seven for we each of us. Seven. Yeah, on that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that was Dang it. Dang it. That's all the things? Dang it. That's all the things. I don't think I missed anything. So we did the card. Oh, but you just dyed your hair and you look cute. So you get seven Aww. points. One, two, three, four, Aww. five, six, seven. Aww, that's so, so we nice. tied. And the tiebreaker who has the most flowers. What? Which were tied. And the tiebreaker <laughs> after that is who's wearing a hat. And then I win. <laughs> get back to where you belong on 36. Wow. Well, you had me for like two seconds and then you just started being redonkulous, doctor. What the heck? This is a pretty game. Like, the art in this, it's so colorful. It's so colorful. It, I like the different goals can be very interesting. Trying to manage, like, spreading out, getting up there, and doing what you're trying to do, and then getting That's back. That's the hardest part. You think to yourself, you're like, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so easy. Look at it. I just go back here, and I come back, and like, oh, this is this is simple. This but is simple. But you lose butterflies along but, the way. And then even you even have, like, more turns at the end here, but somehow... I still cannot get my freaking butterflies back here. Like, I still can't well, do it. These what the heck? were particularly hard, too, because they both wanted us to be, like, To north. stay a certain yeah. portion and stay far, really far away. So yeah. they wanted us to be up, and then it was, like, the next one was, like, we want you to be up even higher and over. So you couldn't, like, strategically plan, okay, I'm going to leave some butterflies over here. I'm going to do some butterfly stuff over here. Like, right. that's kind of how you're supposed to do it. But, yeah, because of those goals, you really have to think, okay, am I going to try to do this thing, or am I going to try to move these down here? Which I sacrificed some of those goals because of that. And these all change, right? Yes. And there's multiples? There's multiples of these. And then the these. little goals here for getting the collections change, too. Absolutely. And those, those change as so well. Those, so that, I think, really makes a big difference. Because that one being where you get two of your choice. I could have gotten all my butterflies out because I had that four. And I could have focused on that. But I really wanted to get that other thing, which was to get the extra turn. Because I wasn't sure if I could get both sets out. I thought I could only get one out. So I was like, with that extra turn, I might, if I get like another big card, I might be able to get them both out. But... Yeah. At the end, you're just left like yelling at your little butterflies here that didn't make it to the finish oh line. God. You're like, why didn't you go home? Why? Why didn't you go home? Get home. Do you want us to put them all Rude. home? <laughs> Do you want us to put them all home? Okay, now let's score. So now I get 17 points and you get 12 points. No. Look, we're getting no. them all home. That was fair. We both got it. Put another butterfly maple home. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Doctor, why are you like this? Why are you like this? That's it. <laughs> well, thank you for everybody that joined us today. So She's a man eater. We have our Kickstarter show tomorrow. What are we talking about? Do you remember what we're talking about? Yeah. Hero Quest. Okay, Night of a Thousand Yokai. They're the crash, cute little one with like the little crash animals. Crash Octopus. Oh, yeah, that one's really cute, too. Oh, my and goodness. And Dino World with the Roll and Write, which this... is like Roland, which is like Dinosaur Island Roar and Write. A Roar and Write. Like... Hey, hey, got him. Booyah. I knew that was coming. I prepared this time. 
be, put me on the spot and be like, hey, what's this? Feelings of this versus Wingspan. Wingspan is an engine builder with cards. It's, yep. Wingspan is not complex, but it's definitely more complex than this. This is a lot more um, luck driven because you are, you're you getting randomized cards. So you don't know how far you can move. With Wingspan, you get to pick the best option out of like multiples whenever you're drafting cards. And then you get to decide where you're putting them and everything else. You get to decide which dice you're playing. This one has much more of a randomization where you are getting, ran I mean, you're getting random movements. This is no different than going, I get to roll two. I get to move four spaces. These cards well, make it, it's not, it's better because you have the choice of two, but still it is random. If you get a bunch of these little ones where you're just like, I can move them all one, that's not nearly as good at the end if, as like these, I can move fours. The strategic portion of this game is the fact of where you're trying to place your butterflies and what goals you're trying to achieve versus sacrificing. And that's, I think, the mainstay of this game is like, what am I choosing not to do so I can do these other things? Like, yeah. that's the big choice in this game. Because, yeah, the movement cards are a little bit harder, and you really have to plan out where you're trying to go in this game with and not hopefully knowing. try to achieve yeah. that with what you end up getting. Yes. As far as me, I enjoyed Wingspan a little bit more just because... There's there's more com there's more. I enjoy in engine building. Yeah, I enjoy engine building. Whereas this one here, there's not like ways to build off of that. The it's closest like, thing is that one card that we got there, which was like, if you complete this set, you can get two more cards. Right. That's the closest like triggering effect, right? This game though is gorgeous. And if you are looking for a game that is going to bring new people, new gamers into your life, this is definitely going to hit the table and people are going to look at it and go, ooh, like what is this? It's really pretty. It's so simple to teach. No pun intended, but it's a whole different beast. <laughs> one's butterflies, one's birds. I mean, come on. It is a whole different it's a beast. Whole different it is a whole animal. different beast. You it's can't whole even compare animals. them. It's a whole different animal. It, that is 100% true. They are two completely different animals. They're different, me no, they're different mechanics. Yes. So not, only not it's the same as the designer. Comparable at all. Like, I think the other... The only thing that's comparable is that they put the effort into the theme in both of them. Oh, absolutely. Right? So she absolutely. clearly, whenever she makes the game, she makes sure that the theme is... In like, mm -hmm. it matters. Like, you could, this with, like, bats. Well, no, bats is a bad example because they pollinate also. Bats would be really cute, too. But <laughs> it's, uh, the theme really matters. Like, the game seems like it's, the mechanics are built around a theme that makes sense. Let's see here. I love the different theme, to, though. Mm -hmm. I do as well. Mm -hmm. I do as well. And I do think, like I said, that if you're introducing new gamers to your games and tables, this is definitely something that you're going to want to hit up because this it's how, this is how beautiful, introduce, easy to teach. This is how you introduce a new gamer to your table. Wham! Welcome to board gaming. Why are you like this? <laughs> birds eat butterflies. You know what? That's the other, that's going to be the new expansion. You have it's birds the, that swoop the board and just the eat them. It's the three bees, right? It's bears, beets, and battle cry. I thought Star it Galactica. was. It's Battlestar Galactica. No. Uh... It's bears, beets, and Battlestar Galactica is the Dwight <laughs> quote. Thus, Thus birds, beats, beats, yes. beats Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Galactica. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Birds, Which is also a very good birds, game. bees, beards. The other thing is, do we have another game lined up? Okay, so on our There's Patreon. There's on Patreon, and it looks like people are leaning towards Starfar Starfarer Catan. Yeah, which I don't know if you all have seen that. Like, well, it's opening it up is crazy. Right, it's a redone of the original, which was done years ago. But it's, it's definitely very interesting. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe to our content and look us up on Patreon because yeah, go we... go vote on Patreon. Right, absolutely. we got voting on there and we want to keep on introducing those to all of you and what you want to see us play. And I think that's about it. We'll see you all for our Kickstarter show tomorrow. So excited. I'm so excited Fly to away. talk about all those. Fly away. Bye. <laughs>